Focus has the capability of handling tip pools based on percentage of sales. These tip pools can be configured for individual distribution groups to different jobs. Let's take a look. First, the setup of tip pools is controlled within the Focus setup area. Once within setup, you can go to Reports, Tip Pools. This tip pool configuration basically is configured by each distribution group. Each one you set up is for a specific distribution job. For example, the first one that is set up we have named Back Server. This is essentially being distributed to the bussers. Above this, you can specify up to four different percentage rates that can be calculated for the tip pool. You can also set a maximum dollar amount. This threshold will not be exceeded. You can also set an active time for this tip pool. So for example, if I wanted to do different rates and or different distributions based upon lunch and dinner service, I could. On the left hand side, once I have the distribution job set of going to busser, I can go through and for each job classification, set which rate is used for each report group or category. So for in this example, you can see that rate number one, which is 3.1%, is being calculated for all food report groups, as well as liquor. For some employees, such as bar, there's a possibility that it's only being calculated on certain report groups, such as liquor. For each distribution, you can specify different rates as well as different report categories or groups for each job. Once you're done configuring this, there's two places that this will be displayed on reports. These reports may not be natively configured in your POS system. However, the help desk is always there to help you and assist to set up these reports. The first one is the checkout report. This is the same report that servers and bartenders use to do their closing. On this report, when it's ran for a specific employee and their specific time card, They'll show their sales for the day, but at the bottom, when that tip pool is configured, it will give a breakout of details of how much needs to be distributed to each group. Based on the configuration as well, you have the ability of saying whether or not those tips are automatically taken out or just left as a suggestion. In this example, on this report, this is just being left here as a suggestion of how much they should be tipping out it is actually not forced. If we close out of here, the other report is tip pools. The tip pool report will actually show you a breakdown of all movements, not just the amount that should be collected from the employee that rang in the sales, but also the distributions to the individuals as well. So for example, we have our back server distribution. Here's Jeffrey here who we were looking at his actual checkout report and it showed that he had $26.08 that he owed the back server distribution group. You can see this amount collected here and you can see the actual people that were uh, distributed to in green. It'll show the daily totals for each one. This report can be ran for different time periods, it can be ran for a week, for a month, for a day, and they can also be set up as automatic emails as well. Again, because this is more of a suggestion style, if there is different amounts, that won't necessarily be reflected on here. And that's it for this very simple focus tip pools. Again, it's based on percentage. It can be distributed to different jobs, and you can have multiple jobs distributing to one single job. Those different rates can be set up as well, 
And once activated on the reports, it can show up and show how much your staff should be tipping out to each individual group. If you have any further questions, you're more than welcome to contact our help desk who can assist you with the tip pool setup.